Reggae Boys head coach Jaime Halgrimson says YouTubers and other forms of media personnel are turning away Mason Greenwood because of their fake call-up posts. Finale. It still might be. It is. Nicholson. Wow. Jamaica have a lifeline. How about this? They got Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast. That people are inquiring about Mason Greenwood. Um... Mm. Uh, we saw some some fake stuff came out a couple of weeks ago about him being invited. What's the status of Mason Greenwood? It's like I would say many other players thinking about joining Jamaica, but um, stories like that don't help. Mm. So we 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 must be we must be careful and respectful of the process that is needed for these players to to have their passports, etc., and and also just for their for their um, personal things, they all have contracts, they all have uh, clubs to sign for, etc. So he he and like is like probably many others thinking that's an option to 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 do this, and we need to be professional. If you're that. new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you are a part of that seventy three point three percent of people who keep returning to Gunnar's YouTube channel and are not hitting that fat red subscribe button, what are you guys waiting on? Like, seriously, what are you guys waiting on? You guys watch our videos every time we post and you are still not hitting that fat red subscribe button. So if you're new here or if you're a returning viewer and you like the content that we do here, please go ahead right now and hit that fat red subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever we do post videos. And if you want to check us out on our socials, you can do so at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by buying us a coffee and you can find the link below in the description. So as you guys will know or get to find out if you're a new viewer here, at Gunners, credibility is very, very important to us. A lot of times we, we see a lot of video ideas or we see a lot of things that if we talk about this or if we were to post this, especially with the quality of thumbnails that we have and we can produce, it will get a lot of views. But no, we always prioritize credibility. How true is this? What source is it coming from? And is this something that we want to feed to our audience? Because we want to grow. And you cannot grow by posting fake news, right? No, here at Gunners, we always post from credible sources, whether that's publications in the UK, whether it's news that Fabrizio Romano posted, news from The Athletic in the UK, the Jamaica Observer, Sports Max or Gleaner, it always comes from a very trusted source. And it's always in our description and it's linked. From it's coming from any of those sources, the link is always in the description to find the article yourself and read through it. Now, here I'm gonna we have done five videos specifically about Mason Greenwood, and I'm gonna go through them right now because this is a topic that you see, because I know how deeply and how how much. Us here at Gunners and 433 Presser prioritizes the credibility of our sources and the information that we're getting it from. It hurts me to know that there are people out there that are running with fake news that is just crafted up by a random person and posting it on their platform for thousands and thousands of people to see and run with. Right? If we're on this platform, we have to make sure that we are credible and we're giving information from trusted sources. First video that we ever made on Gunners. Right about Mason Greenwood, it was entitled Breaking News. Mason Greenwood is 100% in talks with the JFF about representing, representing Jamaica, which we all know now is true. And the reason why it's true is because I got this information from the very top of the Jamaica Football Federation. Right? So there is no way that information could have been a lie. So I decided to go ahead and post that video. Right? Now, the second video was about Mason Greenwood. Will he make the Nations League semi-final against the USA? And in that video, I made it abundantly clear that there is no way that Mason Greenwood is going to be making that Nations League squad back in March. Right? Credible information. He did not make that squad in March. Now, moving on to the other videos. It was a Mason Greenwood update as well as basically letting you guys know that Reese Nelson was um interested and sorting out his stuff for jamaica um and also just trolling leon bailey saying bye bye bailey a lot of you guys didn't like that but it was just a troll right 
that was just a regular Mason Green update, letting you guys know that yes, he's still interested um, in representing Jamaica, right? And the third, the fourth video that I posted, JFF boss Michael Ricketts confirms. You now the same thing that I said months ago, right? From in March that he is interested and he is talking with the Jamaica Football Federation. The the, the 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 president of the Jamaica Football Federation spoke to the Observer and literally told the nation that he is confirming that Mason Greenwood is in fact in talks with them, right? And that is what that video was about. The last video that I did about Mason Greenwood was about his links to um, Barcelona and news that Fabrizio Romano basically posted about him on his Instagram and his Twitter feed. And that is coming from Fabrizio Romano. You can't get a more trusted source than Fabrizio Romano, right? So I really needed to come and show you guys receipts before I went into digging at posts that were made with Mason Greenwood in a fake squad, right? Because the coach is coming out now and the coach is saying that media personnel, which is not only including um, YouTubers, it's including everyone, right, who posts and, and, and it reaches a large audience, right, is having an effect on him making his decision. Maybe even a like to see all of this fake news coming up when he knows that nothing. No one would like to hear fake news about themselves, right? That is obviously a turn off. You, nobody know want to hear fake news about themselves, isn't it? So now that I've made my point abundantly clear, let's go ahead and take a look at this fake post um, that was basically manufactured by a random person and put out into the media. And it's surprising to me that this post had, has, had, had gone so far. Why did this post reach this far? Right? Because everyone knows who watches the channel um, a lot. They know that us and 433 Press are Kishan. We work closely together when it comes to gathering information and posting videos. So a lot of the times you guys will see us post videos at the same time around the same topic with us giving our different takes, right? So at the time when this fake squad was surfacing, right? Kishan sent me the squad and we basically laughed at it because we were like, bro, look at this. Bro, there are many ways to know if a squad is credible, you know? Jump, if, if you don't know, go up on JFF Instagram page, and CJF post a squad. You know, say anything else where you see is false. If you see a squad, right, where you're not so sure about, the first thing you should go to is Jamaica Football Federation. And they are going to post the squad. Go on their Instagram page and see them post the squad. See? And if you don't see that, then the squad have a fake. But even if you don't do that, then you want to look upon the squad, bro. Because I never have to do that, you know. The moment me look upon the squad, I knew that it was fake. Because if you even look on the spelling of some of them um, players, your name, Ethan Pino, P I N N O K. What the hell? The man here spelled P I N N O C K. So there's no way this could be new, um, could be real news. Come on, guys. Demario Philip. I'm pretty sure the man's name is Demario Phillips. You see me? Just take a look through that entire squad. Bailey Kadamarchi, we all know what is going on with Bailey Kadamarchi and him choosing England. Come on, guys, we have to do better. We have to do better. We can't say we are taking up ourselves and see them big idiots thinking news here. And we are taking it up and put it on big platform for all to see, bro. Them thing have pissed me off, though, because as I say, if we didn't want to do this, we could have do it and have views. But guess what? We, we value credibility. You see me? So, really and truly, we don't want to see this go forward, guys. And it's, it, we, this is our colleagues. You can see something, but you need to do your research. You need to have sense, brother. Just look into some simple things, bro, and see it. And know, say, yo, this can't real. And when you see them news, you allow news. Yes, you allow them news, bro. You know, take up fake news and put it on big platform for all the people. See, just forget views, dog. Come on, bro. Holy heap of information they out there. And if you want to post pre-recorded videos anywhere between 6 to 12 minutes, holy heap of information they out there where you can use. And for posts about Jamaica football every single day. It's up to you for the research. Like what we here at Gunners and 433 Press are doing. Every single night we're up. We go a bit late at night time and look for news for come and post in a bro. And we make sure that we double check, triple check, and fact check them news that we're posting up on. You see me? And we give what takes on it. So it pissed me off to see some man come post some, some fake news, bro. Which is evident to see that the news is fake. When you see fake news, you stay far from it. You don't even want to spin it. You don't want to do nothing with the fake news. You just stay far from it. You read it. 
The only way you have to talk about the fake news is if you do it like how me do it right now. A rubbish shit. Yes, my bro. This I get my dark, bro, because you are truly me even knowing. You know. We take these things very seriously here at Gunners. Credibility when I ramp with that, because that is what is going to build you. You see me? Later night with the upper look news. Later night with upper I create videos, I edit videos. Them little thing there, bro. Say, so, fun me for see them fake news here. And it all reach a national coach, bro. And it have an influence on the people them way. We want to come and represent the country, dog, because one simple idiot man want to, want to send out the news. And then when they idiot man, they send out the news. Some next idiot people were supposed to be credible upon a platform like YouTube. Run, go and go take it up and want to spread it to, bro. Come on, dog. Man, they need to do better than that, brother. You see me? The man them need to do better than that bad man. I'm going to hide and talk. I'm going to joke or laugh, bro. You see me? Doing the research, brother. And if you know what, make it work hard. Work on the craft. Work on the thumbnail. Work on credible information. Work on being informative. You see me? Thing piss me off, bad man. No jokes, dog. So, yeah, guys. That's it for this video. You see me? Um, if you're new here or if you're a returning viewer and you reach this far, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, comment, share. Follow us at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by buying us a coffee and you can find the link below in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. Finale. It still might be. It is. Nicholson. Wow. Jamaica have a lifeline. How about this? They got Gunners Podcast. The Gunners Podcast.